Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell, I'm going to be doing this smoked out, very festive holiday tutorial. Do not be intimidated by dark colors like this. I'm going to tell you right now, if I can do it, you can do it. It's not difficult to do at all, you guys. Trust me, I'm going to walk you guys through this step by step. We got this. This tutorial is definitely for those of you who are a little bit more on the daring side and definitely more willing to do something a little bit more dark and sexy and sultry for the holidays. I know I'm all about that life. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. If you're interested, and seeing how I got this makeup look, then please keep watching. So I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with this Laura Mercier eyeshadow base, and I'm just gonna blend that out till it's nice and smooth and blended. Palette of choice is gonna be the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm taking the shade Flower Child, which is just like an off-white base shade, and I'm gonna be using this to just kind of go, go in and just set my eyelids before I go in with any of the other colors with this shade right here this is the shade smarty pants go ahead and put some of that in my crease and just kind of focus it in there it has a little bit more brown than the one that i've just applied all over my lid let's like not pay attention to the beast on my face okay like please let's not give it any more attention than it already has before going in with any of the darker shades i'm just going to grab a little bit of tape and just really use this to get really precise i'm going to angle it towards the very tippity top end of my brow it doesn't look like I have any hair there, but I actually do. I have like a couple hairs. So I'm just going to outline that to the very end of my brow. So again, from the end of my eye towards the very end of my brow, the very last hair. Just to make sure I get that really precise, clean cut edge. Next, I'm just going to grab this shade right here, which is called Jet Setter, which is just like a really light taupey shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply that in my crease. And I'm also going to kind of work that down to my lid. The key with doing a good smoky eye is just making sure that you're really building your colors and you're not going from a light shade to just a dark shade. You want to just start intensifying them gradually. I'm going to take this shade right here called Activist, which is more of a deep brown. And following the same path here, I'm going to just start in my crease, work that inwards, and kind of just start working it downwards towards my lid. And with matte colors, more times than not, you do have to make sure that you're really going over it and over it and over it just to make sure that the color is coming out. Okay. It's going to look like you're like a panda and not in a flattering way either. I mean, this is not cute, people. But just keep working at it. Make sure you're patient and just keep on blending it out. And I promise you the look will come together. Makeup is a work in process. It's supposed to be fun. It's meant to be a learning process. Well, have fun with it because the minute you start to compare yourself to others, that's when it becomes a competition and it's no longer fun. So I'm just going to grab the shade Smoke Show right here, which to me is a little darker than this shade right here because this one almost has like a little bit more brown in it, whereas this one has a little bit more gray so I'm gonna grab this one pack that really closely on my lid and kind of just follow the path of where I used the other um, deep brown one right here I'm just gonna go in and do my brows really quickly because they are driving me crazy to see them like this it is really driving me insane so I'm gonna do this really quickly off camera and I'll be right back all right so now that my eyebrows are done I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off and you guys are gonna see how snatched that edge is I'm just gonna take off all the excess fallout and just make sure that my face is nice and clean and eyeshadow less so I already went in and primed my face. For some reason, the camera cut out. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with foundation. And for this, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Full Coverage. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. And I'm also going to be using my crown brush, paddle brush. Um, I'm going to take a couple spritzes of Fix Plus, And then I'm just going to go in with the foundation. My skin has really been flaring up lately. I don't know if it's the fact that the weather has really changed lately. It's gotten really, really cold. On top of that, like, it's my time of the month, so I don't know if it's that, too. Like, it could be that. It could be the weather. Um, stress. I mean, it could be, like, a series of things. It could just be, like, a combination of everything, but my skin is not happy right now. I'm going to be concealing with Tarte Shape Tape, and mine is in the shade Light Neutral. set that concealer, I'm going to go in with the shade Lyric from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I 
go in with lashes and the lashes I'll be using today are by Flutter Lashes and this is in the style Intoxicating. It's these really pretty, dramatic, very va-va-voom lashes. Let me get them out the box so you can actually see them. This is what they look like. So really pretty. I'm going to go off camera and just apply that. Alright, so now that I have these lashes on, they're a lot heavier than I thought they would be. I don't know why I thought they were going to be like a little less heavy, but I'm still liking it. I'm still going to go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the bottom lash line now. I'm going with this shade right here, which is Activist from the Tarte in Bloom palette. And I'm going to apply it to my lower lash line just to smoke it out. Really quickly, I'm just going to take um, this black eyeliner and just put it directly on my waterline. So now I'm just grabbing a tiny bit of the NYX Glitter Adhesive. I'm taking this with a tiny little brush here. And I'm just going to apply it on my inner tear duct. This is a NYX Loose Face and Body Glitter. I'm just going to grab this shade right here and I'm going to put some on my brow bone. I'm going to take a mix between this shade and this shade and I'm just going to use that to kind of carve out my cheekbones. And for highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter. For lips today, I'm actually going to be going in with this shade right here, which is Red Hot from Lime Crime. This is a metallic liquid lip, and it's a really pretty red color here. So you guys, it's pretty much going to complete this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This is probably going to be the last video that I get a chance to upload before the Christmas holidays, so I want to take the time to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas or a Happy Holidays for whatever it is that you celebrate. I really hope you guys enjoy this time with your loved ones. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now, but I think this is just a great time where you can kind of just get with your family and kind of just take the time to really celebrate the things that you love the most with the people that you love the most. So you guys, that's going to complete this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.